So I'm in my dark room again and this is a 35mm strip and on here is a photograph of my dog George that I took on a Yashica Electro 35 camera with a flash after sunset in the garden. Uh, so I'm going to print it out. I know that already looking at the negative it's quite overexposed on his belly, he's got a white belly and it's kind of overexposed so I want to try and get around that and see if I can make a decent print of this of this negative and uh, hopefully make a nice photograph of it. Motion side down. Okay, so put the carrier inside the enlarger and turn the lights off, turn the enlarger on and see what it looks like on the easel. Focus in. Okay, there he is. Little machine that I use for my test prints. So you basically slide your paper there across there, put it down, and then you've got your increments here. And I like using this, mostly, sometimes I get lazy and, and I, I don't get this out, and I just use a, you know, your regular kind of test print uh, card. But this is quite nice because it does give you these white um, stops in between, which, uh, which makes it really, much easier to see. So I do like using this and when you lift it up it will go back to normal. Okay so I'm going to use my test strip machine for this uh, just do increments of three seconds and I'll count this without the aid of a timer I'm sure I can count to three. Okay one two three one two three one two three one two three one two, three. Okay, put a test strip inside the developer and I like this machine because it gives you nice increments, nice clear in increments that you can see uh, in this case three every three seconds. Okay, so I've just got my first test strip here and you can see the increments of three seconds and there's 15 seconds overall so the last one is 15 seconds and I quite like the detail, the blacks and the greys there and the whites in that area. So I'm going to make a print of 15 seconds and see what that looks like. And I'll just speed this up now. Okay so this is our second test print now. Uh, I'm quite happy with the blacks and whites and the greys on his face and on his, uh, on his back there so far. A little bit lighter than I would have hoped for so I'm going to write that down as 20 seconds and not 15 so I'm going to 20 seconds is going to be my base exposure time. The next thing I want to work on is the belly. Obviously his belly, his neck and belly is white and it's uh, overexposed so I'm going to need to do some test prints here just small test prints and see how long the exposure time needs to be on this area so uh, let's do some more test prints and come back okay this so this is the test print I've done for the belly and I did this at 30 seconds so if we you can see the, the difference his belly is got these little tiny black dots but he has got a, a white grey belly and I think this is pretty much as good as we're going to get it and I'm quite happy with it anyway this I did at 15 seconds, I wasn't happy, I think it's too light, so I'm going to go at 20 seconds. So we're going to do a 20 second print, an overall print of 20 seconds, and then we're going to burn the belly in, the belly area, in for another 10 seconds, and see how we get on. Okay, so let's slip a piece of 10 by 8 paper in. Let's set the timer, 20 seconds, and do the first projection. Now, okay, now we've got our burn tool, and for 10 seconds we're going to burn his belly in. And I'll put the timer on for 12, that gives me two seconds to aim on his belly. There it is, there, okay, 10 seconds here, and I'm just moving, moving it around slowly so I don't get any sharp edges. So I'm just going to use this tool here, you can see it, bring it up close to the lens and what it will do 
it'll just darken the areas around George like a vignette kind of style. Okay, there we go, we just vignette around the edges. You see that just covering the dog and just slowly working my way out to the edges using this dodge tool. Just to see if it'll make it any more dramatic. Turn it off. Okay, let's uh, develop this and see how it looks. Okay, in goes the paper into the developer. Kick the camera, why not? So let's see how this looks. Give it about a minute in there. So I'm going to speed this process up now from the, through the stop and the fix and the wash and we'll have a look at our first print. Okay, and this is the final print, it's still in the fix here. This is in the fixer and it looks really nice and I'm quite pleased with it. We've managed to get detail back on his belly using that extra, what was it, five seconds on his face and back instead of 15 we did 20, I'm glad I did that and I'm also pleased that I decided to burn a vignette around the edge using the dodge tool which is quite nice and for those who who don't do much darker room but no Photoshop you'll see the burning the dodge tools in Photoshop they look like this and uh, but yeah overall I'm quite happy with that print so I'm now gonna finish this video off and dry the print and put it in with my collection so thanks for watching mm -hmm.